Hello everybody and welcome to Veriax's Let's Play of Sega's 1989 classic, Golden Axe. It's a real gem from my childhood, is this? Real hack and slash good old gem. Right, we have a choice of three characters. We have Axe Battler, the Barbarian. We have Tyrus Flair, the Amazon. Or we have Gilius Thunderhead, the Dwarf. We're going to be Gilius. Blow the other two up! So the game starts with this little cutscene. People in Uria, this land that the game is set in, talk really quickly because there's no way I could have dictated to you what they were saying there. Oh my god, I just got pounded straight away. But the idea behind the game is that this big evil bastard called Death Adder has come along and he's um, kidnapped the king and the princess. On top of this, he's also stolen the Golden Axe, which is like the symbiotic weapon of the land, and uh, you've got to go and stop him. Death Adder also killed Gilius's brother, so this is why Gilius is doing this. You'll have to ignore the fact that Gilius also has a Golden Axe. Come here, little bastard. It's a pure coincidence, it's not the same Golden Axe as the one Death Adder has. Stop standing on him, that's rude. There are also mounts in this game. This one is a cockatrice, and it swipes foes around with its giant pink tail. There's also magic in the game, which is what these little elves are. Gilius has room for four magic pots in his inventory. If I was to collect five, nothing happens. If I can get five, there we go. Because Gilius is the worst character at using magic, Tyrus Flare is the best, and Axe Battler is in between. To compensate for this, they have given the dwarf the uh, longest ranged weapon in the game. Yes, the dwarf has a longer range with his melee attack than the 6'6 six six barbarian with his double-handed longsword. Don't ask me why. Well, no. Ask me why, because I'll tell you. It's because the dwarf is the least proficient with magic, which I'm going to use now. And so he's stronger at melee. Tyrus Flair has the uh, least range in her melee attack, but as I said before, she is most proficient with magic. And that's the end of level one. We're there already. So our cockatrice runs off and we swipe this guy and he gives us some more pots. And now we're on level two. That's one enemy Death Adder is in his castle. We'll take a shortcut through the Turtle Village. I'll see you then, folks. I'll see you then.